Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. We're gonna do another versus video. This time's a little bit different. We're playing with two of the tw Commander 2018 decks again, but these two I have upgraded from just cards I had laying around in my personal collection. So, at this time I will be playing Lord Windgrace. He is a Planeswalker that costs two, black, red, green. Comes into play with five, Plus two, discard a card, then draw a card. If a land card is discarded this way, draw an additional card. Minus three, return up to two target land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Minus 11, destroy up to six target non-land permanents, then create six 2-2 two -two cat warrior creature tokens with forest walk. And I am playing Sihile again. Okay, so we've already shuffled, drawn our first hands. And she won, so she's gonna go first. Alright. Dark Steel Citadel. Pass. Draw for turn. And let's see. Let's do a mountain valley. Pass. Mountain. And pass. Alright, draw for turn. Boop, boop, boo. And I will play Copper Line Gorge. I have two or fewer other lands, so it comes into play untapped. Forgot to untap that. And then I'm going to crack the mountain valley, sack it. I get to search for a forest or a mountain and put it on the battlefield. So let's see what we got in here. Don't think I have any dual lands that count at both forests and mountains. Hey, I do! Mountain forest. There it is. Shelter thicket. It enters the battlefield tap, but I don't care because I wasn't going to be able to play anything anyway this turn. Do that. Shuffle my library. And you can cut. And pass. Okay, island. And Sahili Ray. <laughs> the other Sahili. <laughs> yes. God dang it. And we're gonna need yeah, some dice. Yeah, we don't have dice around, so one second. Okay. So Sahili starts with three, and I will immediately put one on her. I can destroy one and it deals one damage to each opponent. Boo. Uh, I pass. Okay, untap. Uh, command tower. And then... I will play... Tap these. For Yabamaya Elder. 2-1. Yeah. When it dies, I may search my library for two basic lands, reveal them, put them into my hand, then shuffle. I can pay two to sacrifice it and draw a card. Yes. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Command tower. Well. Unwinding clock. Untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. Hmm. So I will put another one on Sahili. Take a damage. That is going on the bottom. Alright. I will pass. Okay. Then I will play a swamp. And then I will put a Mina and Den Wildborn. They are a 4-4. Let's say I may play an additional land on each of my turns. Mm. I can pay a red and a green to return a land I control to its owner's hand, and target creature gains trample until end of turn. Okay. So I will play my second land for the turn, which will be this Land of War Reborn. It has Graft 1. It comes into play with a 1-1 counter on it. Whenever a creature enters a battlefield, I may move a counter from that land to the creature. Okay. And... 
attack Sahili for two. Well, she is down to three, and I'm just realizing that I should have untapped the Dark Seal Citadel at the <laughs> beginning of your untap step. Not that it's going to matter. Ah, I pass. Mountain. Geode Golem. 5 3 mm. Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast your commander from the command zone. Without paying for it? Yep. Mm. Uh, I still pay any additional cost, yada yada. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to add one to Sahili. Take a damage. I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I will pass. Untap Dark Steel. Oops, I don't want to that. Play a, a mountain. And then I will play Lord Wind Grace. him up to seven immediately mm. and discard this destructive flow to draw a card and because of Mina and Den I get to play a second land and pass. No attack face? No. Okay. That's interesting. Well, Probably a mistake, but Alright, so I'm gonna play Is it? You gotta return a land, I believe. I do. You will return a mountain. My hand. And we'll then play Sahili. <laughs> Alright. Two Sahilis. So. Alright, so she starts with four, she's getting one, and I'm going to put a servo token in. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do negative two. I'm going to create a token that is a copy of my artifact golem. And it gains haste. And then the token exile. So I'm going to be attacking with two golem. Yeah. At you. Actually, no. You know what? I do want to attack that stupid thing. <laughs> Lord needs to go. <laughs> Double block. This one. The okay. real one. The real one? Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to take five. Putting him at two. Alright. Both of these are going to die. And this guy's going to die. And my token this... gout exile. Now yeah, my elder dies, so I search for two basic lands and put them in my hand. Search for a forest. And a swamp. Yeah, I will be passing. Okay, untap. Draw for turn. And then I will plus two Lord Windgrace and discard a swamp. That means I get to draw two cards. Alright. So I'll play a mountain. And then I will tap down everything to first play a Timber Sower. It's a 3 3. When one or more lands are put into my graveyard from anywhere, I create a zero one plant. I can pay a green and sacrifice three creatures to return a land from the graveyard to my hand. <laughs> and the rest of this I'm going to use for Wind Grace's Judgment. For any number of opponents, destroy target non land permanent that player controls. And I believe Sahili the Gifted wants to be destroyed. No, she doesn't. Kaboom! Goodbye, Sahili. Get your ass back to the command zone. You dick. 
Then I pass. And she is going to cost you two more next time. Yes. Alright, so we're going to play that mountain that I get to pick up last turn. Well... Doctor Assembly. It is a 5-5 five five flyer at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control no doctors other than Doctor Assembly, return it to your hand and create 5 one, one colorless Doctor Artifact Creature Tokens with Flying instead. Hmm. I will be adding one to Sahili. You take damage and I'll scry one and... Yeah, I guess I'll keep that there. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. I will pass. Your dark steel on taps, no problem. Yes, thank you. Doctors, that's no good. You're off for turn. Okay, uh, gotta think about this. So plus two for wind grace, and discard this swamp, which means I get to draw two. And that is a land that went in my graveyard from anywhere. So I get to make a plant. There it is. And when that plant comes in, I'm going to move the 1-1 one, one counter to it. I'm then going to use this. This and the swamp to cast Courser of Crufix. Play with the top card of my library revealed. If it's a, I may play it if it's a land. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I gain one life. It is a jungle hollow. So I will play that since I can. And that gains me one life when it comes in, and that gains me one life, so I gain two life. Mm. And what is the next card? Whip Tongue Hydra. And then I can also play Udoka Gardener. Mm. Alrighty. Which I can tap to put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. If I then control ten or more lands, this turns into Dokai, Weaver of Life, which I can pay six and create an XX Green Elemental, where X is the number of lands I control. Okay. Are you done? Nope! I have so much to do. And then I'll pay the last three I have for Far Wanderings. I search my library because I have Threshold for three basic lands. Put them on the battlefield tapped. Mountain. Alright. That's fucking awful. Forest. And a swamp. That is three lands entering the battlefield. I gain three life. Nope. So I only have one guy that can attack, and he's not big enough to kill the 5 5. So I'll pass. Hmm, okay. He's here. Put this one here. Oh, mm. Okay. Oops. Got to play with the top card revealed. Twilight Mire. All right. Well, this goes away, and I get five Thopter tokens. It goes in your hand, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. All right. And I know there's Thopter tokens around here somewhere. You just want a dice for? Yeah. Just give me a dice for the rest. Okay. Alrighty. Is there some sickness? So I have a turn to figure out what to do about it. Mm, yes. Alright, well, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, that's no good. Worm Coil Engine, 6 6 Death Touch Lifelink. When it dies, create a 3 3 colorless worm artifact creature token with Death Touch and a 3 3 colorless worm artifact creature token with Lifelink. Is that 3? Oh, fuck it. I'm going to make a copy of that. It gains haste and attacks. 
It's not trample though. No. We'll block with the plant. So he's still gaining six. It's a lifelink. Yep. And six. I guess I'll pass now. After I played all these big guys. I played one thing. Look at what you did on your turn. <laughs> okay, draw for turn. Put this up. Golgari Rock Farm. And plus two to Lord Wind Grace. And dump this forest, which means I get to draw. This is supposed to be one. Two cards. And then face up. Then I'll play the Golgari Rock Farm and return Land War Reborn in my hand, but I'll add a green to my mana pool before I do, using it. Okay, this is good. So I have a green floating, and then I will use six to cast World Breaker. Mm, that's not good. Uh, when I cast World Breaker, exile target artifact, enchantment, or land. Bye bye. Exile? Worm coil engine. Fucker. And it doesn't die, so you don't get the stuff. Nope. Alright, you bastard. What else? It also has a 5 7 reach, and I can pay 3 to sack a land and return it from the graveyard to my hand. And then, I'm gonna tap this guy. And bring that Land of War Reborn back to the battlefield. It has a 1 1 counter. And I do now have more than 10, so he transforms. But he's still tapped. But that is about all I can do this turn, so pass. Okay. Alright. The card advantage on Lord Wingrace is pretty good. Alright, well, <laughs> put one on Sigili. Let's try one. Okay. So, I guess I'm gonna attack with my five Thopters, because you don't have any flying, right? <laughs> I have one Reach guy. So he can block one of them. Okay. Which he will. Alright. So then I'll take down four. four. Alright. Well, it's gotta be done. Blasphemous act. So it'll <laughs> cost one less for each creature on the battlefield. There's a ton out there, so that's my eight. I paid one red. Thirteen damage to each creature. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to think about it. Dr. Assembly is going back out, and I will pass. Well, you do that. At the end of your turn, I'm going to pay three, sacrifice this forest, and return world breaker. Mm. To Ooh. My hand. <laughs> okay. Drop a turn. I don't have course of prefix, so that stays face down. Plus two to Lord Wind Grace and discard this forest, draw two. He needs 11, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm, okay. Did you take your damage? Yes. Okay. Now that's right, you gain a bunch of stupid life. Two. Three, four. Five. Six. Consigned to dust, and I paid strive once. 
destroy any number of target enchantments or artifacts. These two. <sighs> You're such a dick. And then, I have just enough left to play the World Breaker. Damn it. And I will exile your dark steel citadel. Can, Can be you? done. Yeah, great. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Sahili back in. And she starts with four. She's gonna gain one immediately. And I'm putting a servo token in. Also put one on the other Sahili. That's going on the bottom. And I will pass. Hmm. That was useless. Should have put that one one counter from the land onto the world breaker. Oh well. Draft turn. Plus two, the Lord Windgrace, discard forest. Draw two. One, two. Three, four. Four. Splendid reclamation. You fucking dick. Turn nice. all lands from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh, for fuck's sake. So that's seven more lands I got. Pretty good. How many total do you have now, asshole? Nineteen? Holy crap. Uh, attack you for five. Does that trample or anything? No. Why with the servo? Pass. I did fuck all. Alright, island. Alright, so... Do this first. Thirst for knowledge. Draw three cards, then discard two cards. Unless you discard an artifact card. Options are terrible. So, I guess I'm gonna get rid of the mountain and the whip flare. And choices here. We'll drink. Use a 2 2 flyer at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you control a com commander, draw a card. <laughs> well, you can use that now. I know. I, I'm, oh. But I'm debating if I want to do the Sigilis first or <laughs> after. You don't well, you might as well scry one first and see if the card you well, want. Well, unfortunately, I already know what that card is because I accidentally uh, hmm. picked up four. <laughs> Cheater! Cheater! Yeah, yeah. Shame! Shame! I don't have a bell. Yeah, no. Fuck your bell. I do feel bad for Septa Unella. That was, Shame. That was a bad way to go. Shame! That, that does not count. You get rid of the cat toy. <laughs> God damn it, cat. <laughs> Alright, okay. So... Which artifact I control, which is fucking none right now. That helps me none. Well, I'll take two off of her and make a copy of Loyal Drake and attack you for two flying. 
And at mm. the beginning of my upkeep step or combat, I draw a card, which I already know what the fuck it is anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And then I will put one on the healing and do another token for my last thing. Okay. Where's she at five? She should be at six. Yep. Right in the servo. Thank you. Alright. I guess. Okay. Untap. Oh man, I gotta organize all these lands. Oh god, it's so bad. Boo hoo. Boo hoo for me, because I think I'm going down. Come on, Sahil, you did so well at the beginning. And then I had to board wipe the ass. Yeah, I think you're probably wrong. I'm gonna crack the mountain valley. Because at this point, I might as well get a mountain. Actually, that comes in a play tap. Put it up there. Knock up. No, I really don't. And then... Oh, minus 11. Lord Windgrace. What does he do again? Destroy up to six target non-land permanents. Boop, 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 boop. And then I create six two two cat warriors. Cat warriors? Yep. That have forest walk. Dana proves, unfortunately. Yes, you're a traitor kitty. That's only five. Do I have another one? Yes. Yeah, you do. Oh, what you're hearing in the background is the food machine going off, and the trampoline you heard was him running to it. Eh. And then. Four. Five. For Nisa, vital force. Plus one her right away. Untap target land I control. This forest. It becomes really? a five five elemental until in turn with haste. I'll attack you with a five five forest and a five seven world breaker. Well, I'm down to thirty six. And I pass. Okay. Look at this quickly. Okay. Well, pretty boned anyway. So, what we're gonna do is. Chaos Warp, your world breaker. Oh, no. uh. Target permanent shuffles it into their library, then reveals the top card of their library. If it's a permanent, it goes on the battlefield. Okay. Put it in there. I'll do a Chief of the Foundry. Uh, that is a 2 3 artifact creatures I control. <laughs> Gain plus one plus one. Sucks to be oh, you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, all right, I think I'm going to call it. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah, because you went to no quarter walk, row, asshole. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Damn you, Sahili. Lord Windgrace, you're so good. Like a cat man, and you're like, lands are good. Play a bunch of lands. I'll give you cards. And this is also like, yeah, lands are awesome. I agree with Lord Windgrace. Uh, damn it. What did I have coming up? So, what did I have in my hollow to regenerate? 
bigger. And I would have drawn with Lord Windgrace another land and a Mox Diamond. Hmm. Did you get that Yabba line from me? That pie? No. No? Okay. Alright. All right. Well, Sahili did very poorly this time. She started <laughs> great, and then, uh... I think it was just bad draws, because I played that quit, deck, and it was really good. So... Yeah, the first draw was great. I got the other Sahili out on turn fucking three, but... So, just some simple upgrades. I think you can make these decks a lot better than they were straight out of the box. You're also got rid of my yeah. damn worm coil. <laughs> That's one of the cards I added, though. It doesn't come with come with the deck. I know. So, hope you guys like that play video. I um, think that's about it. We're going to open some older packs as our next bonus video. It's only a couple, so don't get super excited. But Yeah, yeah it'll be real short. Three, four minutes, maybe. Yeah. Probably. Uh, All right. That'll go up on Sunday, the bonus video. This one should go up on Thursday. Say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.